The laissez-faire. First, the origins and beliefs. The idea of the laissez-faire economic system originated in France by French physiocrats in the 18th and 19th centuries, who believed that the government should lead the economy to function on its own, which would eventually lead to the economy naturally flowing by itself, as if guided by an invisible hand. The French physiocrats also wanted to use scientific principles when studying wealth and economy. The other significant thing that the physiocrats did was that they influenced Adam Smith, a very important persona, in the rise of the system. Hence, those beliefs led to the key concepts. The laissez-faire had three main key concepts. One, that the economy could function better without any government interference. Two, that it applied the study of wealth and scientific principles and methodologies. Three, that a division of labor creates a system of interdependencies within the economy to keep it stable and prosperous. Next, the leaders. Some of the most important leaders in the movement included Adam Smith, who popularized the idea of laissez-faire to the public with his book, The Wealth of Nations. John Stuart Mill also popularized the idea of laissez-faire with his book, Principles of Political Economy, and Vincent de Gournay, who allegedly coined the term. Key text. The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith is one of the most important books about this economic structure. Its central thesis is that our individual need to fulfill self-interest results in societal benefit in what is known as the invisible hand. It also revolves around the idea that this, combined with the division of labor and the economy, results in a web of mutual interdependencies that promotes stability and prosperity through the market me mechanism. In his book, Smith rejects government interference in market and, and activities, and instead states that government should serve just three functions, protect national borders, enforce civil law, and engage in public works. The second highly important text on laissez-faire was Principles of Political Economy by John Stuart Mill. In his book, he elaborated on the ideas of Adam Smith and the laissez-faire, argued that if each individual was allowed to make their own choice, the effectiveness of a society would increase, and explained that wealth comes naturally from labor, but it should be up to elite to distribute it. Main Ideas The three main ideas of laissez-faire is that it states that the economy works best when the government protects only individual rights, that supply and demand will push the production of goods and services, and that the government should only interfere when dealing with theft, fraud, monopolies, and other crimes. Causes and Effects The cause of this system was that after the French Revolution, the government was new and happened to have too much power on the economy. It made industrial beliefs that the economy should be more free and that the government shouldn't have too big of a hand on the economy. The effects involved those that being government-free allowed companies to experiment and take greater risks. As more products are needed from the market, businesses started being more creative and innovative, as well as they developed more technologies. The absence of taxes led to more spending freedom and discouraged corruption. It caused inequality of income and in that it didn't address and represent the entire community, just the majority. All of this, however, did lead to a rapid economic growth. Pros and cons. So the pros includes those that it minimizes waste, puts economic regularities in place, which led to economic signs, prevents producers from setting prices too high, keeps the price of living affordable during inflation, encourages consumption, allows companies to compete freely with each other in an open marketplace, more incentive for innovation and technological advances can take place, and companies are more incentivized for efficiency since they are not burdened with restrictions imposed on them. Cons. Since leaders do not maintain a firm hand on their workers, it has seen to lead to lower productivity. Emphasis on trust led to the misuse of the word honesty. Instead of encouraging people to step up, many encourage laziness and procrastination. Lack of motivation and role awareness, no deadlines to push through progress, very easy to step up upon broadcasting skills, which means it's very easy to lose your place in the economic hierarchy, and that without regulation, companies are free to do anything that pleases them, exploit workers, harm the environment, and create health problems, and etc. Examples. So, the example from the Industrial Revolution. The laissez fair capitalism had reached an all-time high during the Industrial Revolution in countries like France, Great Britain, and America. High levels of autonomy stressed by the laissez fair philosophy led to the unfair monopolies had an opportunity to be formed, which led to unequal wealth and lack of representation for those not in power. Example 2 can be seen when companies are allowed to buy up as much property as they want without restraint from the government. 
A specific example from this is that Disney has been able to buy up multiple studios and monopolize the theater industry.